Greetings, LGR here, one of my favorite spots to come check out every once in a while. I call it the Oddity Warehouse, but it's really called the Regeneration Station. One of those places where they have a, a little bit of everything on offer. Motorcycles, old TVs, whatever the heck this is. So I'm wandering around here past all this other cool stuff and ran across something that I noticed immediately because I've actually used one of these before. This is a Little Tykes IBM computer setup for kids, known as the Young Explorer, or also the Kids Smart Computer. This is something that IBM actually did with uh, the Little Tykes company, mostly known for toys and educational stuff, to uh, give kids a computer that they could use. And it actually did feature a proper IBM Think Center computer in here. It had this nice, colorful keyboard and a little USB mouse to go with it, apparently manufactured by this company called Chester Creek Tech. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was just a conglomeration of companies getting together to make this thing. And I actually didn't run across this at any kind of educational place. I ran across this in an airport when I was about 16 years old, just traveling with my little brother across the country. And since we were underage, the airport or the airline that we were on uh, had us go into these little rooms in between flights and use these computers. They happen to have these exact same setups here, the Little Tykes things. I was like, what the heck is this? IBM Little Tykes. And I had a bunch of edutainment games on there, things like Millie's Math House and some of the humongous stuff. And um, I think even Let's Explore the Airport <laughs> with Buzzy the Bee, which is appropriate. It also originally had this uh, neat little seat that you would uh, sit on, of course, but you'd open it up and there were a bunch of crayons and art supplies and stuff you could put in there. Yeah, the setup is super cool. You had a monitor that would go behind this little protective screen there. The one we had was a CRT, but you could also outfit them with an LCD later on. And apparently they still sell these for about two and a half thousand dollars. But uh, that, this one doesn't have any of the hardware in it, of course. And underneath here is where you would put the IBM Think Center computer itself, just locked away in this little plastic cubby hole. Uh, just meant to keep little grubby kid fingers out of here. And this is just something that I wanted to show here because there's no way I'm gonna buy this thing. Even though 29 bucks for this shell is not really that bad of a price at all. In fact, I'd like to have those peripherals there, but this is just too bulky and I don't have anywhere to put it. Plus, it doesn't have any of the hardware in it. Now sure, I could just stick some in here and make it pretty much fully functional again, and I could probably even contact Little Tykes to get some parts, but I don't want to do that. I just wanted to show it off because I think this is neat, and there's some weird memories associated with it for me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Little Tykes IBM computer system. There you go, that exists. Thank you for watching.